Look at multiple damages. Yes, statutory damages, <laughs> such as double or treble damages, <laughs> that are multiple of the amount that the fact finder determines to be owed. Yes. Now, I am uh, particularly mm -hmm, attracted to the triple damages. Yes, I mentioned that yesterday. <laughs> See, yesterday I was talking about the trillion dollars in financing. Yes. And the additional trillion dollars of the sale of my green renewable. Yes. <laughs> innovations. <laughs> Today I'm looking at the triple damages. Yes. <laughs> of the foreseeable damages. Yes. Of issuing court orders without any of the protections of law. Yes. Then the false arrest. Mm -hmm. False imprisonment. Yes. And then the libel, yes, mm -hmm. the blaspheme, Pooh. the degradation of saying that I was not competent to stand trial. Mm. And then there's those three million emails. Oh, well, you said I have no liability, but your whole belief system mm, is structured around the thought that Christians would not be persecuted. Is that right? The whole idea, yes. Mm -hmm. Statutory multiple damages differ from the common law punitive damages. Yes. In that punitive damages involved uh, no fixed sum or limit. Yes. The fixed limit of multiple damages only reduces their threat to the defendant and the potential for abuse. <laughs> it also reduces the possibility of a measure deterrence. Yes. Mm -hmm. Likewise, because of the enhancement of the award is fixed by the statutory multiple, there is no occasion for introducing evidence of the defendant's wealth, as there is in the case of common law punitive damages. Perhaps a more important distinction is that multiple damage statutes may be enacted for entirely non-punitive purposes. <laughs> now, specifically, some double or treble damages statutes, yes, Fraud, mm -hmm. persecution, <clears throat> treason, <laughs> child kidnapping and child abuse, Ooh, trafficking in children. <clears throat> Civil penalties are intended to provide a kind of liquidated damages for actual losses <clears throat> that cannot be proved or that the otherwise unrecognized by law is. <clears throat> but does the law recognize the actual institutions known as Christianity? <clears throat> Were you given the availability of being an institution of Christianity because of your individual belief system? Are you liable? 